Look at all of God's beautiful creations. God just wants to share a good thing. All I had was my sister. But I ain't seen her in years. When you think about her, does your heart get full? Yes, ma'am. And she's still alive. You see the world! <laughs> Ooh, sweet and loving God. <laughs> Even if we have to part. Us have one heart. The Color Purple. Tickets on sale now. Only in theaters Christmas Day. If you hear that, you know it's almost time for what? Christmas! Hey Google, stop playing! Okay, so we all have been given instructions from the Queen Oprah. On December 25th, The Color Purple is coming to a theater near you. There's no way that you would not know that. Unless you live on a rock, even if you have no interest in the color purple, you know about the color purple because the queen of promoting, the queen of the queen has done her deal. And I give thumbs up to her promotion. I give thumbs up to Fantasia, every cast member. I love you guys for all the promoting and the example you have laid for anyone that's trying to promote anything in the future, that's how you do it, and I love it. So my quick video was to have a little fun since I am home for the holidays, relaxing and on vacay and anticipating this awesome movie. I know so many have already seen a pre-screening of the movie and all of that, but I decided to wait till December 25th. So Oprah gave us instructions, you guys. She said, wear your purple on December 25th. Even if you went on December 20th, December 19th, or whenever you went to go see it beforehand, you were supposed to have on your purple. I didn't see a lot of people in purple, but hey, there's still time. So, this is definitely not what I'm wearing on December 25th, but I decided to wear this on this video because this is an example of shades of purple. As we can see, purple can go all the way deep down into grape. It can sometimes even trans into almost like a burgundy color, sometimes depending on the richness of that gray, um, that, um, that purple. So this is a look um, that you can do on purple on, on that day. You can add a belt to this to change it, to change the look, bring it in to, um, to cinch in your, um, your sides and all of that um, and have fun with it. Um, also, your bag. Ladies, you know I love handbags. I am the handbag guru. I absolutely love a great handbag. Unfortunately, the handbag that Oprah um, had the free tickets in, when I went to go purchase it, they were gone. Um, they were gone just like that. Again, another great marketing strategy. She made someone happy because that site, handbags were gone just like that. So I have choices. So it wasn't hard for me to purchase a lot of purple because for one, I love the color purple. The movie and the color, respectively. <laughs> so I love them both. So it wasn't hard to get a lot of purple. And first thing, I already had a lot of purple. But on top of that, it wasn't hard for me to be happy to purchase because a girl is the indecisive. I'm a, I'm a true Libra, so I am indecisive, right? 
So I have a few bags in front of me and then I'm going to sit down with a few um, pieces of jewelry that I am toggling through to try to bring out the beauty of that day, okay? Yes. Is it that serious? Yes. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when I sit down, right? Okay. So, you already seen me do a video on this beautiful bag. She would be perfect for the color purple. You can put your wallet in there, um, your phone, everything you may need for your two and a half hour movie um, to chill with your family and have a great time, you guys, right? Just, just be ready for fun. Relax, sit back, recline, and enjoy the movie. This would be an excellent bag to take with you, right? For those, like myself, that don't really want that big old satchel hanging on your arm for the fruition of a movie, or I mean, just standing in line in the concession line buying snacks or whatever, and you know you're going to put that um, purse in a secure place while you're watching a movie so you don't have to worry about a big old bag such as that, your beautiful handbag, it does not necessarily have to be a Chanel, but this is a Chanel bag that I don't carry often. Um, she is in my collection. I'm not trying to promote Chanel. I'm just giving you options of different styles of color and handbags, right? She is a translucent color. Um, what, and I, what I mean by that, she, she changes color by the light. So you're going to be able to pick up purple, blue, pink, and all of that. This is a perfect holiday season bag. If you don't have a bag similar to this, you can always go to Target or Walmart and find a handbag in probably similar to this or even TJ Maxx that may have a smaller purple handbag in this type of style. Then I recently purchased um, Fast, my because this bag does not go on sale often. I found it, I got it, she came, the Coach Puffy. Um, bag. I love her, you guys. She is lavender. I love lavender. She is definitely in the color purple scheme. So this will be an excellent bag for all your purple. So now I'm going to sit down with you guys and do my different jewelry pieces that may bring out the style for you. Okay, here we go. And this is also, I always try to do this for the plus size girl that um, that I've seen so many people say, well, what, are the, what about the plus size girls? I didn't see too much out there for us. There's plenty out there for us, you guys. Look at me. I got on the glasses, the purple glasses, you guys. I have purpled it up. This is definitely a plus size outfit. It's very nice, very comfortable. If, some, if you wanted to wear something like this, this would be perfect to wear to the movies, right? Now, you already know, your girl, if you know me, you know I'm going to always go over the top, right? I'm going to always make a statement. <laughs> so um, that's another reason why I'm not showing what I'm actually wearing. But purple gloves. Purple gloves. Look at that, you guys. You don't know what your weather is going to be like where you are. Purple gloves with a purple shirt and some jeans, maybe, and some sneakers. Hey, you got your purple on. You don't have to have purple all over. Just make a purple statement. Purple gloves, purple shirt, um, pur blue jeans and sneakers, and some nice little earrings, maybe some purple earrings um, somewhere, and you made a statement. You made a statement, not too much, not too far out there, but if you know me, your girl, I'm going to go far out there, right? So let me put back on the ring that my husband placed on my finger. Um, and let me show you some of the pieces that I plan on wearing. This is a beautiful bracelet. So let's just say I had on a black shirt, right? Because I couldn't afford to buy purple. And I had on black. And I wanted to insinuate with black, um, with, with purple. So let me come back and show you a true live example of that. So it won't just be an imaginary portion, right? I'll be right back. So we always have to take in consideration that there are people that simply cannot afford to buy purple. They got, somebody gave them the ticket. They won the ticket off a radio show or whatever, or Oprah sent them tickets or something. They got tickets 
and they want to see the color purple, but they simply just cannot afford to buy purple. So you can get yourself a good necklace, nothing like um, making a statement with jewelry. So you can get you a great little necklace. This is not purple, it's many colors. So making a statement with this little nice little piece, but a bracelet with the many colors in it, the purple is standing out. You can take the necklace off, not even have on a necklace. If you do have on a necklace, some people wear a cross or whatever. You can just keep on your regular silver necklace or whatever color you choose to wear um, and just bam it out with the purple bracelet. You're making a purple statement without having purple down, right? Another option that you have is you can just do a purple um, jewelry statement, which I absolutely love. This necklace, it gives me everything. Um, it is perfect. Um, and you can do it in so many different ways. You can do it like this. And yes, it is black. Um, you can do it like this with the different color bracelet. You're still Christmassy. Put on your little styling earrings. Bring out your little purple. I'm not going to put both of them on. Um, your purple glove. Purple glove, bracelet, grab you, your little purple handbag, and go on and see the color purple. You're still stylish. You still got your purple on. You don't have too much on, but you're saying that, hey, I listened to Oprah. I'm doing what she instructed us to do, and I'm going to have fun on this movie. So, just to say, I know that some people are probably like, what is with this color purple talk? What is with this color purple talk? Well, no one is trying to uh, change the narrative to make the original um, not be the original, right? Uh, um, Whoopi Goldberg did her thing in the color purple. This color purple is based on the stage play and not the movie, right? Um, Fantasia was a part of that stage play. Whoopi Goldberg will forever be our number one silly of all time. She played that role, she created it. Anyone that comes after her will always be studying her, her, her delivery of her character, right? So what they're doing is for the newer generation, um, they're presenting the color purple back out to where it can reach a larger, vast of audience because there's so much within the color purple that so many people have joked and used as taglines, used as, um, we say it every day, you know, um, uh, just all kind of stuff that we say, um, what you said, you know, just all kind of stuff. And, um, um, when I seen you and all that kind of stuff, right? I knew there's a God. And some people even forget that that is Oprah Winfrey that played that role and she played that role. But um, all I'm trying to say is there's so many different nuggets within the color purple that um, over the years we know about, we've said, we quoted, we play around about. I don't know how many times I've seen the color purple. I can't even tell you how many times I've seen it. Um, Steven Spielberg was um, excellent about delivering that movie to the big screen. The characters in it, um, you cannot replace them from being the originals. So all they're trying to do is put a 2023 spin on it, you guys, um, and to, for your family and friends to go out and enjoy this movie. That's all they're trying to do. I know with the positive, there's negative. Why so much about talk about the color purple? It's fun. We all go through things in life. Why not have fun with your family? Go to a movie and have fun and sit and, and enjoy each other for a couple of hours. After going see going to see it for a few hours, if you're going early like we are, go to the house to eat together. Rem reminisce, talk, laugh, joke, have fun. That is what it is all about, you guys. That is what it's all about. Seriously, seriously. That is what it is all about. Um, and I just, I, I, I don't want to, 
um, drive it any more than it's already been driven. I know it's been promoted so many different ways and so many different um, areas around the nation at the at the um, um, Empire State Building. And I just want to say that Oprah has laid out the plans. The she always leaves us with nuggets. I love that lady so much. I really do. If she doesn't do anything, she teaches us by doing. That's how you teach people, by showing and not always just, you should do that. Da, 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 da. She's taught us how to promote. She's taught us how to drive a movie, how to drive something that we're promoting. Put it in people's face. Give them a reason for wanting to see it. There's no denying that you want to see that movie at some point. Everybody that I know, even my husband, who's like, he didn't even want to see it at first, but he's like, okay, I know I got to see this movie because it's all in the promoting of it. And it's all in laughter and fun. You guys, we go through so much on a day-to-day -day basis. And for those who don't, God bless you. But we, most of us do. We're living and trying to get through things. Middle Tennessee, you guys, we were all hit with a tremendous um, t tornado that wiped out homes and everything during this holiday season. And so many loss of, li so loss of lives. I think it's went up to either six, I believe. Um, and then if you look at Clarksville, oh my God, it's just horrible. And Middle Tennessee has been hit and impacted by this. And it's still people that does not have lights in their homes is having to stay in hotels with families and people that they didn't even know they were going to have to do by this time at, at the beginning of this year. They had no idea they were going to lose just about everything in a tornado. So if you get a moment just to relax and be with family and friends just for a couple of hours to laugh and reminisce and be like, oh my God, I forgot that part in the original. Do it, do it. It doesn't hurt. She's promoting everyone to go see it on December 25th, even though I know so many of us have already seen the movie um, by pre-screen, um, by um I'm sorry, I, I'm not talking uh, correctly yet, you guys, but there has been different screenings of this movie that's been presented um, where people have had the opportunity to see the movie before it actually comes out in theaters for everyone to go see. And that is excellent if you've seen it. All I ask is you keep it to yourself. Do not ruin it for all of us. Don't ruin it for people who are waiting to December 25th to spend time with their family to go see it, you guys. So all I'm saying is have fun with it, you guys. If you're able to get some purple, even if it's a purple sweater, even if it's just a purple charm or earrings or whatever, bam it out in purple. Have fun with it. I am going to be dressed in purple, um, most likely head to toe. Um, and I will take lots of pictures on December 25th so you can see how I'm dressed. I'm excited about it. Um, even though it's a $10 movie ticket, you guys, um, I get excited about things when it comes to making memories, making family time, and just being able to just be Lisa and not overseeing people that I do on a day-to-day -day basis at my job. It's something that excites me. It's something that's a thrill and a time that that's needed. So if you can, if you have not purchased your ticket, um, there's some theaters that may still have a few tickets remaining on December 25th, but if you can go out and get you a ticket, I'm almost 1000% certain you will not regret it. Even if it's just to spend moments with your family and just enjoying yourself for that time frame. God bless you all. Be safe out there. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It's nothing but love you guys. Be blessed.